I, I know where we were in the conversation. Luke Getze is not exactly like the next up and coming superstar. Nobody is clamoring for Luke Getze, the now fired Raiders offensive coordinator, to be their next head coach. I got it. But I'm going to ask you this question. What, what could he have done with this Raiders team when you look at their quarterback room, which now they're on their third quarterback, Gardner Minshew? Career backup. That's what he is. I wanted to believe in Gardner Minshew. I wanted, you know, I wanted to believe that players would rally around him. He's really, he's just, that's who he is. He's a career backup quarterback. Aiden O'Connell, second year player, fourth round pick, fourth round pick for a reason. Okay. Not everybody gets as lucky as Brock Purdy to be on the right team with the right amount of talent. And oh, by the way, be better than where he was drafted. Now all of a sudden you got this guy, is it Desmond Ritter, the kid from Cincinnati? that was mm -hmm. sitting on somebody's practice roster. What, what can the Raiders do when you don't have a legitimate quarterback? Because even Denver, you can just look at Denver this year. They've got a real head coach, and they've got an at least an up-and-coming first-round quarterback. What could the Raiders have done? What could Luke Getze have done? If you have... A, what is perceived to be a lack of talent at quarterback, even though we have seen places where Gardner Minshew has played well. If Gardner, if there was never a place that existed where Gardner Minshew played well, then I would agree with you. Aiden O'Connell, you have a great argument. We've never seen him play well, so therefore, he just may not be good. And we've never seen Desmond Ritter play well, so therefore, he may not be good. Those are very two on-the-nose arguments. But we what, what, what did Gardner Minshew do that that was so impressive as a backup quarterback in Indianapolis or Jacksonville? What did he do that was so great that, well, last that year made almost you him think to the he could be a starter? So last year, he almost took him to the playoffs when uh, Richardson went down for the season. Richardson played four games last year, and in the rest of the season, Gardner Minshew was the quarterback. He almost took that team to the playoffs. So there is evidence that he's not horrible. There's evidence that if you put that Shane Steichen tape on that you use with a solid run game and decent weapons, that he can be productive at the NFL level. Okay? Do the Raiders have a solid run game and decent weapons? Josh J No, Josh Jacobs has gone. Who's the guy who they got? I can't remember his name at this point in time. But they have a good running back, and anybody can run the football if you dedicate yourself to it. Anybody. They've you just got, say under the Luke uh, Getze offense, the Bears were the number one rushing team in the league. Their, their leading rusher yesterday for the Raiders, uh, Alexander Madison, nine carries, 36 yards. Behind him, Amir Abdullah, four carries, 12 yards. After that, Zamir White, six carries, 10 yards. Um, the Raiders rushed the ball yesterday 21 times for 60 yards total. And how many times they throw? Since you're looking at the stat, how many times they throw? You got that? They threw the ball 33 times. They completed 21 uh, passes for a grand total of 157 yards. One touchdown, no interceptions. Their leading receiver, Jacoby Myers and Brock Bowers. So they got one decent receiver, and they've got an up-and-coming probable star at tight end. Right. After that, but the even, names, you don't you don't know these names. Even But even before they did that, you had Devontae Adams there. You had Brock Bowers. So let's say you got an up-and-coming star, and you have an actual star within this offense before they traded him away, before he got sour, you didn't put him in a position to be successful as an offensive coordinator. You should be able to game plan your offense that your best players can be fruitful within your offense. I'm saying it's because I just watched him not do that with Justin Fields. I just watched him not me, do it. Tell me this. Let me, let me ask you guys this question. Who's the best team in the Gosh. NFL? With the worst quarterback. The best team the, with the worst quarterback? Right. Because uh, what I'm trying to figure out is because what I'm trying to figure out is this. Who can be good when they don't have a Seattle? good quarterback? Seattle. Well, they're not even good. So maybe the Vikings. I would say Sam Darnold's good. I wouldn't say he's great. He's good. Yeah, but Sam Darnold yeah. wasn't good until this year. I mean, you know, he was a first round draft choice. That's coaching. Nope. That's coach. Nobody succeeds with the Jets. Nobody su succeeds with the Panthers. A bad quarterback with a good record. I'm just trying. I'm, I guess what I'm trying to. Because the Steelers had two quarterbacks. They don't even have. I guess you would say the Steelers. I mean, listen, the Jaguars are a bad team, and they and their quarterback's Chiefs. supposed to be a star, and he's not good. 
Right. Just because you get paid like a star don't mean you're a star, a.k.a. Dak right. Prescott. The Chiefs, good quarterback. The Lions, good quarterback. The Bills, good quarterback. The Commanders, good quarterback. Steelers, no. Vikings, until this year. Falcons, Kirk Cousins, proven. Texans, CJ Stroud's good. Ravens, obviously. Packers, obviously. That's the best teams in the NFL. So the answer is Pittsburgh. The okay, Pittsburgh. so then the answer would be Pittsburgh. They're they're the best team with the worst quarterback. And Russell Wilson, who, you know, Russell Wilson at least is a proven veteran quarterback. You know? Oh, no, If you're the that. Raiders. No. Okay, well, let me ask you the question. Let me ask you a question. Who would you rather have right now, Derek Carr or Russell Wilson? Russell Wilson. Derek Carr. I'll Derek you Carr, easy. he's the coach killer, dog. Sorry, not doing it. Never liked Derek Carr when, when he was in, in Oakland, when he was in Vegas. I never liked Gar Derek Carr. I don't like Derek Carr. I think he's so fake. As At least Russell Wilson's a cornball fake. You know what you're getting. Derek I was just Carr, about to say, you just said Derek, Derek Carr is so fake. And then no, we've been talking about Russell Carr, Wilson. But Derek Carr, there's no authenticity to Derek Carr, in my opinion, at all. Okay. He's like a mix of like uh, Christian Phillip Rivers, and I'm trying to be a badass, and I'm also like, and it, but at the end of the day, he's just not that good. Been saying it for years. You, I've been on the show for a long time. I think Derek Carr should not be a starter in the NFL. Just because you could throw for 3,000 yards doesn't mean you should be a starter in the NFL. That I should be that. a requirement that you should be able to throw for at least 3,500 yards in the modern-day NFL. Okay, I will, I'll say this. Again, I'm not saying that he is a franchise quarterback. I'm saying he's better than Russell Wilson. Because if we're going to say Derek Carr is a coach that. killer, if we're going to say Derek Carr is a coach killer, so is Russell Wilson. What happened to Pete Carroll? Dunzo, what happened to the guy who he was who was coaching him in Denver? Dunzo. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's and there's a little more. Let me give you one more. Let me okay. give you one more. Let me give you one more. If Mike Tomlin don't do well, if this goes in the wrong direction, yeah, Mike Tomlin anywhere. will be fired too. Zero chance. Zero All chance. Right, let this go south. Let this go south. Yeah, Russell Wilson I would mean, go. He's a, he has no contract. Bruh. But but okay. look at look at certain teams. Look, you. Look, at, you. Look, look at certain teams that have spent money on quarterbacks that are bad, right? So so like when you look at the Raiders, for example, and you blame everything on Luke Getze, I say Luke yeah. Getze is not not a superstar coach, but I also say he didn't have a quarterback. But think about this: the Cowboys are three and five. They got the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, and they can't get mm -hmm. out of their own way. Okay, right. Um, the Giants are two and seven. They have a $40 million a year quarterback and they stink. Okay. When you look at the Raiders, Gardner Minshew is like a $10 million a year quarterback and they're terrible. Jacksonville nothing, has a four that's nothing has no, I know, but that's my point. They didn't, they haven't okay. spent on a quarterback. And by the way, just because you spend doesn't mean you're right in Jacksonville. Correct. They're two and seven. They gave, they gave their quarterback 45, a 50 million dollars. He stinks. Uh, look and at they Daniel stink. Jones. Look at Deshaun Watson. Look across the league. It's not just because you give a guy money don't mean he, he deserves money. At the end of the day, and here's the thing. you I'm not going to sit here and try and – I don't know if you're defending whatever the Raiders did or, or, or agreeing me? with it. I don't know what we're doing. All I know is this. It starts from the top. <laughs> Mark Davis is a terrible owner. Mark Davis hires terrible coaches, and that organization is ran terribly. And I, the more that the Raiders continue to be a thing – which is, I guess, just existing, the more I'm kind of starting to agree with Scott. You might as well just hand the reins over to Tom Brady because Mark Davis has no idea what he's doing either. None. Because this guy's on his sixth Mark coach in 10 years or something like that. Yeah. How many <laughs> offense coordinators? How many defense coordinators? He has no idea what he's doing. They're a terribly mm -hmm. ran franchise. It's that simple.